Hey friends, I'm sitting here in my happy place this morning. It's a rainy day and what better is there to do than be creative? I've been working in my room for a few weeks, I should say a few months, purging and cleaning and organizing and and if you know me well, that's what I do. I like to keep things nice and organized because I believe in being efficient. If you're efficient, it takes less time to find what you want. It like takes less time to put up your product and it takes less time to get your project done. So be efficient, get rid of clutter, get rid of stuff that you don't use. I've been getting rid of tools I don't use, a bunch of uh, crafty punches that I used to use a lot making cards, but I rarely use anymore. Everything is cut out on either my Cricut silhouette or um, die cuts that come with the stamps. And it's just taking up space, valuable space. When um, we built our house, I had California closets come in and we custom customized my craft room a little bit, built some cabinets and I had no clue what I wanted. I knew I wanted some drawers and some cabinets for cardstock and papers and all of that. And I love everything I have, but it's really not the best case scenario on how to store and organize everything, but I, lo I still love it. And it's a constant work in progress. So today I am going to do a quick little walkthrough and kind of show you how I have stuff in my craft room organized. Hi friends, I'm going to give you a tour of my craft space today. So when you walk in my front house here, that takes you to the main living area and just down the hall here is my craft room. So when you get into my craft room, you can see how beautiful the natural light is. It's it's like so great and that's why I decided to use this room for my craft room because of so much natural light. My light is on, my overhead light's on right now. If I turn it off, you can see it's still like really light in here during the daytime and today's an overcast rainy day. So here's my craft room. This is where all the happy stuff happens. My happy space is what I call it most of the time. Over here is my laptop and just kind of work stuff, like my bookkeeping and all of that stuff for home. I use my laptop and my computer. I use my big PC most of the time when I'm doing photo editing. It's got my Photoshop on it and for photography, I've got cabinets, which I had California cabinets built. Up here in the top corner is like heat transfer and vinyl. I put my silhouette and my Cricut up there. I use both for different projects. Most of the time I use my silhouette. I prefer it. I prefer the programming and the ease of the silhouette far more than the Cricut. But the Cricut has a contract with Close to My Heart and so the cut files and other Close to My Heart makers create everything in Cricut. So I use that mainly for my Close to My Heart stuff and the silhouette I use for other die cuts, vinyl, um, print and cut sticker type things. That's a heat press for when I'm doing the heat transfer vinyl for t-shirts, etc. And these tall cabinets over here is where I keep like paper products and stamps. So I had this designed with shelves that pull out for like my cardstock here. So I can pull it out. I use these multi-purpose bins from the container store. And I keep my paper by color in these little zip pockets that they come in when you buy the product from close to my heart. These are current stamps that I'm using right now. Um, these are like ribbons and stuff. <clears throat> I have these magnetic sheets that I have inside the doors to put die cuts 
and then here's more stamp organization down here. I haven't purged any of this kind of stuff yet. This is my next project. And then this side is my workshop packets from Close to My Heart. So cards and scrapbooking and extra papers is what I keep on these shelves. Again, multi-purpose bins from the container store. And then this is like various colors and, and weights of cardstock for projects. Whether I'm just stamping, whether I'm watercoloring, or whether I'm using alcohol ink markers to color. And again, die cuts on magnetic sheets. And I put the product number next to them. So I know what they are when I'm using them. <clears throat> Over here, I have this these little drawers that I also got from the container store. So I keep like tools and stuff. Like here's different types of scissors. And... Uh, tools and shaker shaker stuff little binders these are my Copic markers I got Tombow markers these are my close to my heart inks ink pads I have a friend whose husband made these little shelves years and years ago and I bought one and painted it white he doesn't do it anymore but it's the best thing ever I love it. This is a vintage little swirly stamp office desk thing that I put my little date stamps in. I used to uh, use buttons all the time on my cards. I'm trying to get back to using them again, but I love the colors too. It's just a fun little decorative element where they're separated in little half pint jars and sitting on the shelf for color. Uh, <clears throat> I have little succulents up there on my windows. Over here I have, uh, this is another little clear shelf. A lot of this stuff, well, I shouldn't say a lot, but some of this stuff is on my Amazon store. You can find some of this stuff, but it's got binder rings and it's got stamp blocks. These kind of things. The drawers for quick, quick access. Over here is my uh, Gen D fabric bin that has all of, this is all of my scripture study. We're studying the Old Testament this year, so I've got my scriptures and study books, etc. in here. So these are from Line Upon Line. Um, it's two. This is volume one because the Old Testament is so big. But they're like journal or study. They make journal scriptures and study scriptures. But there's plenty of room to like doodle and paint. Sorry, they're shadows. But these are... I like to do that when I'm studying and doing little things while I'm studying to make them pretty. These are just like behind it these are just a few little books and project planners i got this little magazine holder that has my current close to my heart catalogs and a few magazines this little pink little light thing is fun hangs around your neck and you can turn the light on so if it's a dark you can read without a lamp or shine light like when I'm doing my Project Grateful journal I'll wear that on the couch at night so I can see when I'm writing these are all jars of ribbon I tie them around old clothespin type spoolers <clears throat> these are eyeglass cases from Amazon that have washi tape in them these are large D-rings also that have washi tape. I just got some more of these clothespins because I have this big gallon jar of loose ribbon that's just a mess that I'm going to spool up. This is seam binding ribbon. <clears throat> this is a cart that I got from Michael's. <clears throat> 
we kind of have a cold in our house this week, so I've got a frog in my throat. But this is a card that has current type stamps that I'm currently using, like spring, Easter, which I've got to clean up and organize. And then I've got journals down here, and these are like travel traveler notebook covers down here that I pull out and rotate. This is my work desk that I mat a lot for smaller projects when I'm journaling or memory keeping small projects. It's a nice desk. It's probably 54 inches wide. I don't know. But I keep, you know, little projects and the, my current little ink pads I'm using, my distress ink, scissors, pens. That is a nice... Uh, Thing for plugging in extension cords and USB charging stuff. I have a little basket down here that's got like my cutie stuff, current projects, so I can just grab them right there with ease. Again, this whole area right here is like current. I rotate stuff all the time and what I'm currently doing, I do here. If I'm doing big projects like, mem like uh, scrapbook pages, double page, layouts and stuff I do it all over here or coloring cards I sit here and do that with all my markers um, <clears throat> this cabinet right here is printer paper printer ink and it has a drawer that pulls out with my printer this cabinet oh so I already showed you the heat transfer all of that stuff these books up here are all like informational learning books for lettering, scrapbooking, card making, page maps, stuff like that. I keep tools in here like my Big Shot. These are all punches for uh, different size planners like A5, normal letter size punches, uh, Happy Planner disc punches. I have this little drawer that I keep small cube ink pet ink and like Kraft and Kimmy little cubes go in there and a few other like my watercolor supplies are in here all the liquid watercolors and etc I keep in there and this cabinet right here is kind of a mess I don't know what to do with it but these are like my little Kodak retro printer my little HP sprocket printer these are all external uh, storage that I have here that I keep like digital stuff and photos and stuff and then these are random books this shelf right here is like stamping blocks cleaning empty storage stuff this is all sequins and stuff that's above the sequins is like a light tracing box and then this up here is also like little brads and eyelets and all of my Tim Holtz distress ink and distress oxide and glue random glues and stuff at the top so this is still a mess so I still need to clean out this cabinet and I need to clean out this one with all of the stamps and stuff so back here on this side is a big tall closet just for reference, the top of these windows up here, that's about 8 feet at that point. So I think the walls are probably about 10 feet. I'm not sure. Um, I'm a piano player. I didn't have really have room for my piano in this house, so I got rid of it. My son has it. And I bought this Yamaha 88 key keyboard, which takes up hardly any space. So I arranged my room that I could still have that up when I want to play or practice. Um, I want to show you I have this binder which I keep in the closet behind me. But this is where I keep all of my big, these are big dies. So my big die cuts are in here. My slimline card type dies are in these packets these pockets that zip up so I can just pull that binder off the shelf and grab it when I need it I just got this little cart from Michael's it's like waist high whatever that is for me it's 
tall because I'm short. And I have these little drawers or have like ephemera and little notebooks and stuff in them. I had all of these in little shoebox storage in my closet and it was, it was a mess. So I got this cart for that kind of stuff and I got rid of my Ikea cart which is now in the garage with paints etc. This is a much better uh, system for my like a, ephemera stuff for me to find it better. So in, so here's a view from the closet. You can see my desk here and then right here on the other side of the keyboard is my other desk. So this tall closet here is a work in progress. I took a ton of stuff out and relocated stuff. But that's where I keep my die cuts in the binder right here. This is my sewing machine that I use a lot for small, crafty type projects or quick projects, project life cards, scrapbooks back there. These are little like magazines, scrapbooking magazines, card making ma magazines I keep. This is camera stuff like my speed lights and chargers and battery chargers and stuff go in this bin. This is just a little hanging pantry bin that's got some more random, see, battery chargers and stuff for my camera. Down here is sewing, like threads and stuff for my sewing machine. This is like all camera lens type stuff, different lenses for photography. Way back there's my typewriter, which I don't hardly ever use. This is like sketching paper, various sketching and watercolor pads. I took all of these stamps, which these are not organized at all yet, but I took them all off my Razcog Ikea cart that I used to have over here and put in here. And this is a bamboo. It stretches out and you can put it like in kitchen drawers to separate your kitchen drawers and organize them. I took this out of one of the drawers and put it faced it on the shelf to keep to hold all these loose stamps so I just need to go through and these are like um my retro hit mama Felicity Jane I've also got Allie Edwards um Carrie Bradford Heidi Swap and a few other thing stamps here up here is extra notebooks and storage. And then I've got like, these are boxes made specifically for cards. So my, all my handmade cards that I've made are in these by subject. So I can grab them when I want them. And then up here is random. That's my good sewing machine, like right there. So if I'm quilting or doing something, I will pull that one down for those type of projects. So that's what is in that side of the closet. And now we'll open this side of the closet over here. This stuff right here is like piano. My piano book and instruction books. A few little traveler's notebooks in here that are extra. This is storage. I emptied and all of this, I emptied all these containers. So they're all empty and just stuck in there for right now. But I have random storage in these bins. I pull this one out every week with current planner stuff I'm using, stickers and labels. So this is, I pull it out like every week. Um, alcohol inks, earring supplies, leathers, felts, and just a few odds and ends down here of stuff planner supplies and this is like storage like that's all Christmas paper crafty stuff so when the holidays come that box comes down and I dig out Christmassy stuff so that is my craft room that is gradually getting purged and organized and I spent a lot of time in this room it's my favorite place in the house other than you know, on the couch with my hubby. So I hope you this inspires you. I think I told you in 
the beginning of the video that I love to be organized, I love to be efficient, and I love things clean and clutter-free, and this room to me is still a little bit too cluttered, so I'm, I'm working on it. It's always a work in progress. You guys have a great day. Guess who's back? I forgot to tell you about all of these drawers that I had built in down here and what I have stored in them. So I'm going to just film this super quick. I'll get down here on my knees, which will help. But I just buy like my glues and stuff in bulk because it's way cheaper to get a 12 pack than it is to buy one. So that's what I keep in here. I have glue dots and stuff in here. This is all like my heat embossing, like embossing powders and my embossing guns. And down here is a few more odds and ends, things like glue sticks and embellishment junk. This is all um, still more watercoloring things that I keep in here, but it's also got my like sprays, Tim Holtz sprays. If I can get this thing up, there's like sprays distress inks and a few like my colored pencils and stuff like that is in here. Then I have this drawer that has like all my stickles. These are stickles and a few measuring tools and distress grit paste. These type of things that I use on this is all paper crafting and journaling and every anything that uses a piece of paper. I Because I journal on letters so much, I also buy my pens in bulk. So this drawer might shock some of you, but I buy... So this stuff is all like extra watercolor brushes and stuff. But these right here are... They look like markers, but they're really paint. So I use those sometimes when I'm painting like Christmas ornaments and stuff. They're acrylic paint markers. If I'm writing like a grandkids' names and stuff on ornaments. But most of this stuff is like these are highlighters for bar Bible journaling. These are white ink pens. Again, I buy them in bulk because it's cheaper to get a box of like 24 than it is to buy one pen. One pen is like eight bucks each versus I can get you know, 12 or 24 of them for like $25. So this is just a little container of all of the pens that I use when I do lettering and doodling because they're permanent markers that don't bleed when I watercolor or use alcohol inks, etc. And they're different. Most of what I use is 0.03. What is in here? These are ink pen refills. Oh, these are like gel pens and stuff. And... These are the white ink markers. So this is just pens. A whole drawer just for pens and markers. And this is the junk drawer. Pens I'm currently using just random. And seriously, this is random. These are little pads to clean ink off my stamps. Um, polisher. Isn't this fun? I found this several years ago at a yard sale because I have no button. I love buttons. It's just a little coin purse covered with buttons. And then little containers of random things that I use. Chargers, pencil sharpeners, erasers. This little thing, which when people see these, I've got a couple of these. They throw, they're like, what the heck is that? This is for when you're doing vinyl or heat transfer and you're weeding. You can stick all the stuff off your little weeder in this. Put it on. It's designed for fingernail stuff. Nail techs use them, but paper crafters, or I should say people that own crickets and silhouettes, use them to weed the vinyl and heat transfer easily and get it off your little weeding tool. So that is what that is, those drawers. And I also have one more drawer down here. I'm going to have to move this chair out. But this is new also. I had all this stuff in little bins um, in the closet too. So these are like iris 
bins. I got them at Michael's and they just slide right into this tiny little cart. Seriously, this was like 25 bucks or something, not very expensive. So it's got close to my heart embellishments, foam tape, which is like for dimension. If you use dimensional tape, this is where extra silhouette and Cricut stuff is, like the power cords and mats and tools. And these are like some lettering pads and the little six by six paper packs that I get are down there. So that's a couple more little things that I have. So I don't know. Did I miss anything? My iPad that I stream movies on while I'm crafting or put my um, podcasts on also. That little thing right there is I can connect my phone to it when I'm video, video, ugh, can't even say videoing, when I'm doing a video of something I'm making or a walkthrough of a new product. And... I know I've said this before, but this is my happy place, and I love it, and I hope you have a happy place too.